Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. I'm joined by a few other hotel school ambassadors to speak on their experiences and what it means to be a hotelie. We'll kick things off with introductions and get into our questions afterwards. My name is Caroline, and I'm a senior in the hotel school from Montclair, New Jersey. My minors are inequality studies and health equity. Now let's hear from the rest of the group, starting with Miriam, then AJ, then Austin. Hello, everyone. My name is Miriam. I am also in the hotel school, and I'm from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Hi, everyone. My name is AJ. I am currently a sophomore, and I'm from Irvine, California, and I'm intending to minor in real estate. Hello, everyone. My name is Austin. I'm from Centerville, Ohio, and a junior in the hotel school. Thank you all. So to kick things off, the big question here, why did you choose Cornell and specifically the hotel school? We'll take from the group. So starting with Miriam again, ending with Austin. My journey to Cornell came with the major. So when I was looking at colleges, I really, really wanted to go into business. And then I found my love for hospitality after that when I was working at a bed and breakfast. And so that led me to hospitality. Then I said, where should I go for hospitality? After looking through many different universities, Cornell seems to be the only one that um, really, really spoke to me. So I ended up applying to the hotel school. Um, speaking from my own experience, I can definitely say I wanted a college experience and you know education that was pretty distinct. Um, I think the hotel school um, really does speak for itself, being able to really have a wide array of courses to choose from. And I think within that, um, you're also a member of, you know, the greater Cornell community, being able to take classes in, you know, even more um, distinct areas that, you know, you might not think of on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's still in some way um, pretty interesting and useful, I think, to study. My journey into hospitality began with a passion for helping other people. And I soon discovered that the service industry, specifically restaurants, was where I really thrived. However, I was a little nervous to go to just a culinary school and looking at universities, Cornell stood out specifically the hotel school as an option where I could not only explore that passion of helping other people, but also not be limited to just food and beverage. And the hotel school really has all of the different options um, and even alumni that are in the different industries that can help guide you throughout that journey. Awesome. So now that you guys are here, What's the average workload like for a hotelie and how did you find a schedule that was manageable for you? I'll throw that to AJ. Um, so I guess I will be honest and say the workload um, is definitely something manageable. I think um, one thing I've learned and you know I definitely think other students can speak upon it is that um, you know it's a lot of time management on your part, um, especially right now having several courses that are asynchronous and um, you know, having a somewhat remote learning experience. Um, it's definitely flexible. And I think at the same time, easier for you to, you know, be able to take advantage of different course and learning opportunities, um, as well as being able to work in different experiences um, while we are remote. Um, but I wouldn't say it's anything extreme. And it's definitely something I think um, it also has a learning intuition to it as well, where, you know, I would personally say on my end, you know, I'm learning how to, you know, be mindful of meeting deadlines and, you know, being able to stay on top of um, organization, especially, you know, not really having to go many places um, for the different events and courses that I'm in. Thank you. And then to get a different perspective as a graduating senior, could I hear from Mario? So definitely coming into the hotel school, they really do prepare you at the beginning for the course load that you're going to have. So you have an estimation of how much time it's supposed to take you for each one of your classes. Specifically for me, I ended up doing a lot of extracurricular activities such as working at the Statler and being a director on the Hotel Ezra Cornell board. So that really did challenge my schedule. But at the same time, I found that my professors really did and were upfront with a lot of the work that we were doing. So I was really able to plan out those times. I would definitely call the curriculum challenging, but it's definitely a challenge that is a lot of fun to do and also very exciting. And because your peers are, so, are also so interested in the same aspect of business, which is hospitality in our case, we really are able to come together and it doesn't always feel like we're doing work. Great. Kind of going off of that point, extracurriculars, it's such a big part of our experiential learning and education as hotelies. So Austin, 
What uh, clubs have you been able to participate in during your time at Cornell, inside and outside of the hotel school? One of my favorite parts about Cornell is just the sheer number of clubs, extracurriculars you have available to you. Within the hotel school, I found a home working at the Statler Hotel and their hotel leadership development program, and also getting involved with Hotel Ezra Cornell, an entirely student-run conference that the hotel school puts on every year. Outside the hotel school, though, I had a few interests that uh, weren't just hospitality. I found a lot of fun with rock climbing my freshman year, taking a PE class, and so joined the rock climbing club. And also, I came in being a runner, and so the Cornell Running Club was a great way for me to get out, meet students outside the hotel school, and travel around to different local area meets. That sounds so cool. Um, I also have a relationship with HEC, the conference hotels at Cornell that Miriam and Austin talked about. So much love for the HEC family. AJ, could you talk a little bit about CHS and your current position? Definitely. So currently I'm on the executive board for Cornell Hotel Society's collegiate chapter, which is essentially the alumni network connecting all of the hotel students, graduates, uh, as well as faculty. And so I'm currently serving as our vice president of marketing, which means, um, you know, publicizing the different events that CHS puts on. So this past weekend, actually, we just had a virtual hotel weekend. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't in person, but we still had at least five engaging panels, a social hour and different podcasts where students and alumni could listen in and connect with each other as well as hear about their different experiences and really providing that opportunity for professional development um, for students across the hotel school in many different areas um, or industries that they're interested in. Awesome. Um, for the group, starting again with Miriam and ending with Austin, have you all done any internships or had work experience while at college? And if so, how did you find them? So I've had quite a few. I've had one each one of my summers. My first one was at Gurney's Montauk. And that's basically, it's a luxury resort in Montauk, New York. Couldn't have gone anywhere better for the summer. I was able to get that through a couple of connections and was and was very grateful for the hotel school to really lead me that direction. For my second internship, I worked for a restaurant startup, so a little bit different. And it was for a company called Pop Menu, P-O-P Menu. And from this, it was actually a hotel alum that I met at HEC who offered me the position. And I interviewed for that. And it was really a wonderful experience to kind of get into a different, a different place with the hotel school and really dive into that restaurant tech aspect. And then finally last year, I del delved into my real estate love, also working with a few more hotels. That alumni network that they tell you about is really, really true. Um, I had a lovely, lovely time at TBC Hotels and really learned a lot, especially in the economic downturn that we're in, or that we were in. So speaking on my professional experiences, I obviously don't have as much as Miriam, but last year, like Austin, I worked at the Staller Hotel. I was in the front office department working at the Bell Stand, which is essentially running the valet service and concierge for guests. Um, an incredibly cool experience, I would say, being able to um, directly work with especially a lot of Cornell alumni who come back to the hotel school and kind of talk with them and hear about their experiences. Um, and this winter, actually, I'll be interning with Hodges Ward Elliott as a hospitality investment sales um, intern, and that's essentially working um, a little bit more on a financial and real estate side of hospitality. Um, so I definitely say the hotel school, um, you know, provided these opportunities, which um, definitely had a different angle in terms of how I would approach the industry um, altogether. My internship experience, uh, similar to AJ, began with the Statler Hotel, and I saw it as a really unique opportunity to get work experience while still in school. And so throughout my freshman year, I worked at the front office in the bell stand position, concierge, and that summer, I went all the way from Ithaca, New York to San Francisco uh, to work in a luxury club company, the Bay Club Company. And that was my first internship that I had. And not only was it an amazing opportunity, but it opened up the door to hotels that worked there and connected me with friends and fellow alumni that led me to my next internship with Wings Over. And 
over this past summer, worked with them in the restaurant space. It's a Wings restaurant startup. And through these experiences, I learned that the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. And so your time at Cornell, while you might be concerned about the internship experiences you get or missing an opportunity, it's really about a career exploration and learning what you enjoy doing and what you don't enjoy doing, uh, which can even be more important. Are the faculty in the hotel school, do they get to know you? Do you have a favorite professor and what's that relationship like? AJ? Yeah, so um, actually one of my first faculty experiences came in my first class that I ever took here. It was business writing, which in my course at least was less than 20 students. I think there were you know maybe 17 or 18 of us, but um, this class really helped me build the fundamentals and kind of establishing um, a proper professional way of communicating to um, any industry professionals, being able to prepare actual analysis and memos that you know, I would eventually use for other class assignments. Um, and actually the same professor for this class, um, Stuart Harris, helped write me a letter of recommendation for my job at the communication center. Um, so I definitely can say that the relationships that you build and kind of the skill set starts from day one coming to the hotel school. And I'd just like to add with our academic advising in the hotel school, even though you do get assigned one professor at the start of your time as a hotelie, you can change your path depending on what interest you have. And if you have a specific relationship that you'd like to grow with the professor, you can work with them to find certain avenues that you wanna do research in or potentially have internships in the future. So it's really exciting. Now, Austin, what's the most interesting class you've taken? Maybe in the hotel school, maybe outside, maybe both. So most interesting class is actually the, what I consider the most famous class at the hotel school. And it's called DDLS or the Dean's Distinguished Lecture Series. And every year, every fall, speakers are invited by, by the Dean of the hotel school to come in and not only share about what they're doing now, but the journey they took from where they began, uh, whether into college, their first work experiences, and how their path led them to where they are today. And I not only find it incredibly inspiring to see where these accomplished professionals, most are on C-suites, how they get there, but it's also a chance for them to speak to the students in a very personable and down-to-earth manner, uh, which often you don't get. And this class has continuously shifted where I want to go in life from hearing these speakers and inspiring me uh, to some of the companies that I, I want to work for. Thank you. Um, now for the group with Miriam and then ending in Austin, what's been your most cherished hotel -y experience? So being a senior, I've been reflecting a little bit about my hotel school experience and I want to say one of my most memorable experiences was at the very beginning of the hotel school. Um, we were all in the auditorium and we ended up doing pizza on Peter Plaza. You'll know what Peter Plaza is once you, once you make it here. But that pizza on Peter Plaza, I really met so many amazing people in that first instance that it goes on forever. I still talk to those people day to day. They'll say, like the hotel school is quite small, so you see people all the time, but that experience from Peter Plaza was what really set me to like find my best friends here and connect with their best friends that they later on became, became so close with. But something else that really, really struck me was my hotel as a Cornell experience, being in the same room with so many young people like myself and then also being able to talk to individuals that are in, in the business industry was really something that, that I will remember forever. We have an event for the directors where we meet a lot of the alumni when they come back for homecoming and being around them and feeling the way that they feel about the hotel school really makes you, it makes you smile. And so I can't wait to come back and, and give that feeling to another younger hotelie. So I can definitely say probably my most memorable experience um, here at the hotel school um, had to be at the hotel, shoot, hotel show um, last fall. So um, I had talked about um, there being a virtual hotelie weekend. Um, so normally 
um, the circumstances that we have is taking a group of around 30 to 40 students to New York City. And in this trip, we have um, three days to essentially meet alumni and engage in um, different networking panels, as well as go to events um, such as the Hotel Show, which is hosted by the Hotel School Dean. Um, and this was such a cool experience for me to just come, um, not only at being my first time to New York City, but really um, actually soaking myself into the industry and you know building those initial connections. So um, again, I think this kind of speaks on the theme that you know when you come to the hotel school, when you come to Cornell, um, your journey starts right from the beginning, and um, it's not something I feel like I've had to ease into or you know even struggled with. I think the opportunity is right when you begin to start connecting with people. I feel the most memorable experience I've had at the hotel school as my involvement with hotels or Cornell. And freshman year, I was involved with coordinating all of our speakers for the student run conference. And during the weekends that the conference took place, we had our team of over 200 students getting ready, getting ready with the food and beverage, the events, the spaces, and then you have alumni that come back and some are recent alumni from the past 10 years. Some are coming back and they graduated more than 50 years ago. But it's truly a sense of family with those alumni engaging and talking about the students, what their experience is like. And that's when I knew I had made the right decision of coming to the hotel school. And I truly knew that I'm a hotelie and a hotelie for life. And I would pay it forward and come back for years to come. Definitely. I think we can all agree with that statement. Our hotel-y pride is so strong and it starts right when you enter the doors of Statler Hall um, and you never forget the community that you're in because we'll always be there for you whether or not we're in person, virtual. Um, you always have that alumni engagement as well as student, professor, staff to keep you within our hospitality family. Um, so for, hmm, who do I want to hit next? For Miriam, what kind of support is available for Cornell students and specifically hotelies? So there's a lot of support on this campus. If you have an issue, I swear there is someone to go to. And that's very nice, like whether or not it's financial aid or you're struggling a little bit in an aspect or you broke your foot and you need to figure out how to get around campus, don't you worry. There is a number to call, um, just, just ask someone and they'll be able to guide you. Specifically for the hotel school, our services here are absolutely amazing. I have had so many wonderful experiences. One of my favorite people is Pamela Davis. She goes by Pam and she's in the career advising. She is a wonderful person to go to when you're getting ready to apply to internships or apply to jobs and you're all nervous and you don't know what to do and you think that your resume isn't good enough when it really is because they teach you how to do that in class. And that's really, that's one of the aspects. We also have academic advising and I've also came really, became really close with academic advisors. As you could probably tell with my internship pattern, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I first came to the hotel school. I just wanted to do something in hospitality. And so they were really, they were really pivotal, pivotal in my, my ability to understand what the classes were and the upper electives so that I was able to think, oh, maybe I would want to do revenue management. Let me go talk to that professor and see what's going on in that class. And then I would be able to go up to that professor and say, oh, hey, like what is going on in this class? Like, what do you think the next semester is going to be like? I'm interested in this topic. Can you give me a little bit of a debrief? So that I knew that that would be that would be something that I would I would want to go into. So the faculty are another amazing resources. Eli is one of our admissions counselors, and I still talk to him today about like how I'm doing in the hotel school, what it's like. We also have Victor Younger, who is our diversity and inclusion um, person in the hotel school, and he is absolutely amazing through everything that I've gone through whether or not it's talking about how I'm an RA here at the Equity Engagement Learning Community, if I, what program I'm doing, how I'm doing a specific workshop, he's always there to reach out to and kind of guide me in those, in those relations. Now, Austin, looking back at your time at hotel, what's the average day like for a hotelie? So the average day for a hotel school student is 
not quite average, that there's a lot of changes day to day. Of course, you do have your classes um, and typically you'll have most, most of your classes Monday through Friday uh, and a lot of group projects. A lot of the courses that you'll take throughout freshman, sophomore year, even into junior and senior year especially, have group projects that you'll meet up with. And one of my favorite aspects of the hotel school is the Statler Hall itself. Many of us call it Statler High because in essence, it's a really small group of students that get to know each other. And over the course of four years, you'll make so many friends, whether it's grabbing a bite at Terrace and Max, the two restaurants in the building, or meeting for a group project at Nestle Library. Um, and so going throughout your day, you'll go to your classes, do some group projects, maybe grab lunch with the friends. And then towards the end of the day, you might swing by academic services, get a have a career meeting with Pam, going through your strategies on what internships to look at and alumni to reach out to, and then wrap up the day with grabbing dinner uh, with one of your friends um, on one of the dorms. To add on to Austin, you never really know where your day is going to end up. There have been so many times when I've just walked into the library, saw someone that I knew, and we ended up talking for 15 minutes to an hour. And it really just brightens your day to see those people that you know. And even though that we do so much in terms of academics, there's always time to do more. I know I have a lot of friends at the hotel school and we go play tennis together. So that's really nice. And that's also a way that I kind of break out into other spaces than just the hotel school to, to meet other people. So definitely don't think that every day is gonna be the same, much like hospitality, a day is never the same here. <laughs> Yeah, I second that for sure. We have so many things going on in the building and there's so many resources at Cornell that you can engage in, whether or not it's a hotel school club or event, or if it's just a university relation, it's such a great opportunity to learn more about anything. We have so, so much going on here. Now, another question for the group, kind of crazy, so it's okay if you don't have an answer yet, but what do you guys hope to do after graduation? I can start here being a senior. I know I spent a lot of time career exp with my career exploration. So right now what I'm really looking into is going into the real estate side of hospitality and that hotel development, and then also like property management. So it kind of depends on where I end up. I'm really focused on the company that I, I wanna work on or work with. So I really focus on that aspect of it. And I also believe that you can, any job, you can find something that you love to do in it. So I'm really excited to be moving forward with some of the companies that I'm looking at right now. But my passion at the moment, let's be real, it's probably going to change five to 10 years from now, or even next year. At the moment, it's, it's in the real estate and finance aspect. Um, I would say from my perspective, again, I'm only a sophomore, but I still feel like I've had enough pivoting and probably will have some more as you know, I continue through. Um, I came in with a lot of operations experience. I had worked um, at a theme park before coming here and then worked at the Bell Stand. Um, but obviously my internship, like I said earlier, is going to be more heavily focused in um, the finance side of hospitality. But you know, I'm still open to that aspect of operations. Um, I'm definitely looking to um, meet as much people as I can, you know, learning about how um, the hospitality industry is really being um, impacted right now by COVID-19 and sort of how that shift is um, really affecting that area. Because um, I think one thing that I, you know, definitely appreciate is there's still opportunity to grow there. Um, and, you know, I still have time to grow, like, you know, all of us here. And um, it's definitely going to change, even as I think um, we all graduate, um, you know, our career paths take us in many different directions. The question of what you want to do after graduation is something that you'll get asked a lot, uh, whether it's from your friends, your family. And I feel being in the hotel school, the cool thing is it's okay if it changes. I know after every single class, it seemed to change what I wanted to do. I'd go to a food service class and I'd be like, I'm going to open up the next restaurant, maybe be a Michelin star or chef. And then I would go to business computing and learn about uh, more of the information science side of hotels. And I'd say, oh, I want to try that. And throughout the years, internship experiences, I've learned what I love, as well as things that I might not enjoy as much. And I'm discovering that I still have a lot of questions of what I want to do. 
And so consulting might be the best place for me to experience a lot of different facets of the industry, specifically the hospitality consulting. But I'm also beginning to think that maybe what I want to do doesn't quite exist out there. I am an f and person at heart. I've grown up working in restaurants and I'm beginning to realize, well, what if there's a way to combine technology and food and beverage? And so recently I've taken a, a look at some of the entrepreneurship offerings within the hotel school, the competitions we have, as well as the support and the classes and beginning to create my own concept with a few of my closest friends and fellow students that we hopefully get to go through some of these comp competitions and experience a lot of fun that way. But also after graduation, if I can launch this concept, um, then that would truly be a passion of mine at the heart and what I want to do. Thank you guys. Yeah, for me, I'm kind of in the same boat as Miriam. I see myself changing, honestly, five, 10 years down the road because there's so much out there with the Hotelie Connection where you can go with our education. Um, I feel really passionate about branding and strategy and business development. So I do hope to go into those fields in some capacity within hospitality and the general business world. Um, but we'll see where that takes me. I've had such a great time speaking to our alumni just through informational calls, emails and interviews uh, to get their you know feedback and what they're doing with their careers to learn more about what's possible for us and what they're looking for in their specific sectors, where they see us coming in for the future of the industry and how exciting that is for all of us. So I have another question about one of our core courses, restaurant management. Could Miriam talk a little bit about the class? So I'm currently in restaurant management and I had my management night last week. This is what I would call the key course the hotel school everyone goes through it it's one of those things where you have your management night you make your own menu you cost it you analyze your market you do all the advertising and then you also typically you would get to basically run the restaurant this year of course it changed um this is the first time that we did it to go style which was also a whole new ballpark. Um, I was actually in the same team as Caroline. So we did it together. And for this year, it was to go, the chefs were making the food in order for it to be all safe. And we were basically on Zoom and chatting with them to make sure that there were no guest concerns, anything like that. And really it culminates everything that you've done from culinary to financial statements to understanding a market when you learn about marketing. It really takes all those classes and puts them together in a real life situation. And you're truly in charge of this restaurant for one night. And so even though that we're online, I still feel like I had my experience and I was able to make our fig and brie turnovers and our stuffed acorn squash. Um, and we also did apple cider donuts this year, which were absolutely delicious. But we were really able to work with the chef instructors as well as the lecturers for that class in order to create this night that is something that we're definitely going to remember forever. And the people who ate at it, I hope will remember forever. I know Austin got some of our food. So it's definitely something that is super important at the hotel school. And I look forward to 50 years from now talking to a younger hotelier and asking them what they think their restaurant management night is going to be and telling them all about mine. And although we are in this virtual format, I still had so much fun. And I know so many of my classmates still had so much fun with the class, which is really something that I didn't expect. But Cornell really did a really, really good job executing, um, as well as the hotel school and all of those instructors. For sure. Yeah, I loved my time in the class. I've been looking forward to it since before I even got accepted into the hotel school. Um, and typically the class is offered as a true restaurant style format. So half of the semester, you're working in the back of house, which is in the food labs, our kitchen. Um, you're working for everyone else's establishment night. So each team has a different assigned night during the semester. And all the other weeks, you're just helping their vision come to life. And you're working with our chef instructors and our uh, instructors for the course who is in the front of house. And you'll split that time being in the front of house as a server and working with anybody who walks through the restaurant, uh, coming in with a reservation or not, and seeing where that goes. Um, 
it's really exciting. If you don't have food and beverage experience, it's such a great way to get your feet, uh, feet wet, hands dirty um, within the, the industry and really knowing what's up with food and beverage and restaurants. And a fun part, while not being in the course yet, something I get to look forward to, you get to enjoy restaurant management as a student, as someone that's in Ithaca, it is a fully operating restaurant. So I've gone with friends and we've planned days that we'll go to establishment as it's called and enjoy the food. I got to enjoy Miriam and Caroline's establishment night with the food to go. Um, and you might be there with friends, you might bring a guest speaker as part of a club to establishment, but it really feels like a community that's supporting each other. And even the local Ithacans can enjoy establishment night and they'll routinely make reservations as well. Awesome. Well, this has been such a pleasure to talk to you guys as always. I love spending time with hotelies. I find myself in groups all the time, just can never stop talking. Um, but we hope you in the audience that our experiences were informative as well as exciting. And maybe we even convinced you to apply for the next year. Um, if you have any questions, please contact our office of admissions. They'd be happy to schedule time with you or speak over email or phone. Um, so please let them know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for your participation.